comedia. hostage and giving them valuable gifts against their collective will. I don't normally endorse the use of the word dastardly, but this is clearly dastardly, <laughs> I think. We've got to drive over to the station right away, or at our earliest convenience. Great, I've been itching to bust some skulls since they canceled my so-called life. Culture's hair. It makes for an unwieldy but oh so enchanting memento of our first case in a long while. He howled like a sick wallaby when I shaved it off him. Good times. Soup strainer, Bosco. Bosco? I know not that moniker. I am Lord Reginald Rumblebottom, Earl of Dukedom, the third. Britannia! Sam, what language is he speaking? I'm not sure, Max, but I think it might be English. No <laughs> way. He's like me. <laughs> we want to buy something. Hmm. Yes, hmm. Uh, quite so, quite so. Well, there is still one kind of shaving cream the blue skin bodies haven't got yet. Oh, yeah, I love shaving. That's funny. I've never seen you shave. I didn't mean myself. And <laughs> I have a most peculiar device behind the conga. It's a zikonga. What peculiar device are you so eager to pawn off on us this time? It's the latest in Bosco tech innovation. A delightful invention I like to call a chemical-based voice modulator. Voice modulator? What's that? I do believe it's self-explanatory. We don't really have time to explain it to ourselves. Why don't you just explain it to us? Well, it alters the frequency of your voice melody. Very, very. Huh. We'd like that voice modulator. That would be 30 cents. Huh? Yeah, I left our shillings in my other pants. How much in dollars? Let's see here. Uh, 30 shillings would be about 1 million American dollars. American? A million bucks? No way are we giving out that many tickets. I think we'll have to find an entirely new revenue stream if we want that voice modulator. Worth every shilling, trust me, trust me. Yeah. We'll take your last can of shaving cream, old chap. And 50 ticket people. Nothing. In Thanks, Bosco. Hip hip! Honey nut chippy! I could use a shave. I'll say. Your five o'clock shadow goes clear to your ankles. Hey, dog! The skin bodies rule the city! What a blabby ballot! The little bladder did it again! After him! I mean. Tally-ho, fool! Oh. 
Oh, Britannia! Go for the naked rats. Where are we going, Sam? Hey! sense into her. I don't care if we smack it into her or smack it out of her, just so long as there's smacking involved. You crack me uh. up, little buddy. <coughs> Stand aside, casually attacked <coughs> stagehand. We're Sam and Max, freelance police. Freelance police! We've come to save some pathetic hostages from the clutches of... Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Number one, I'm not a stagehand. I am the director. The director. director! Number two, we're no longer holding the auditions for animal cops with crippling mental disabilities and a lust for dance. Oh no, we're not actors. You got that right. I don't think I've ever seen worse acting in my entire life. And yes, I have seen Keanu Reeves' performance in Toast, the musical. Oh, Sam, I think my hypersensitive ego may need stroking. Don't look at me. Next? Who's next? We're looking for Myra Stump, the darling hawk of... Do not mention that name in my presence. Which name? Myra or Stump? Either and or both. What's your beef with Myra? Let's just say Myra and I have creative differences. I'm creative and she yeah. isn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what was your question? What are you doing here anyhow? What am I doing here? I'm holding auditions for Midtown Cowboys. What are you doing here? 